Right. So the example I posted on there for you to learn, you need the images. Okay. Right. So we are going to do. Agenda for today. We are going to look at examples on thin wall analysis. For sharing stresses. Okay, so let's look at example number one. You have a structure. Looks like this. OK, and you have a force, shear force. Coming down. At 18 kilonewton. It's applied to the box reader. Determine the shear flow at point A. And determine the shear flow at point B. Okay, so there, there are two shear flow. So we know that the formula for shear flow, so it's Q is equal to what? It's equal to uh, VI or VQ over I. Okay. I'm not going to spend time to how to find I. I'm just going to give you the value. So I, if we were to draw transformation, this is Y, this is Z, and this is our X. So our I Z Z will be equal to one two five point one six six times ten to power minus six meter to power four. Okay. So to handle a question like this, again, you have to determine the terminus and also you also have to determine. We have to design the what? Anyone? Shear flow. We have to design the shear flow. So now I'm going to sketch. Okay. So now what we are going to sketch. We are now going to look at this is now our Y and this is our X and then we are going to have our. Oh, no, no, no. This is our Z. And then this is the rotation about X. OK, so we are going to have a sketch. Objective of the sketch is such that we can design the shear flow. OK, so this is just a sketch. So we have a rectangle. Okay. Um, um, I need more space. Then we have another rectangle. Then it's not to scale, okay? Then you have one over here. One over here. And the green line represents our global centroid. So this is our global centroid. Over here. It's been labeled to us. This is where our point A is. 
this is where our point B is. OK. Now. We know that we have a vertical force, shear force coming down. This shear force is going to be at Vy. And it gives it is giving us 18 times 10 to the power 3 Newton. So when we design our shear flow, we know that what controls the direction of the shear flow? The major what? Major web. So these are our major what? A. These are our major webs. So the major web one is on the left side, one is on the one on the left, one on the right is flowing down. The first beam is straightforward, is at the top. This is our what? One is going towards the right. One is going towards the what? The left. Anything that is above the centroid, the flow is coming out from the west, from the terminal. Again, anything that is on top, above the 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 centroid, the flow will be coming out from, from the terminal. When this is the case, there is another terminal over here. Okay, and it has to be flowing which way? Away from the terminal. Are we clear? Okay. So now we have terminal number one. We have terminal number what? Number two. Okay. We have terminal number one. So when you design, I, I want you to put this into context also. I want you to put in words that when What color is that? Green. Don't want green. When the terminals are above the centroid, the shear flow Q will be flowing away or outwards from the terminal. Now, it's easy to accept terminal number one because visually, Y is starting from the west, from the top. It is kind of hard to swallow why v, why the terminal two should be also be flowing out. You can design either way; your answer will be the same. You can okay, you you can resist what I've written. You can say okay, shear flow is going to be flowing inwards. If you want to do that, I'm fine. The next part will come where to take the first moment of what? Area. I repeat again, the next part to consider is where to take the first moment of what? Area. Okay. For point A, what analysis? White flange or box beam? Beam. Because you have one terminal, one Q going towards the left, the other Q going towards the what? Towards the right. So the area to consider for point A, I'm going to do in blue, is this area over here.
Are we clear? Okay, is that area over there? So therefore, looking at the geometries, we are going to find. I'm going to do the same as the textbook or as the image. There are big A's, and over here is big B. So big A. Right, we're going to do A. We are going to apply a uh, box beam analysis where we have what? 2Q, yes or no? And then the thickness, we know the thickness is what? The thickness is 0 0.01 meters. Let, let, let me get this image here. Then I don't need to scroll up and down. You get headache. I get confused. Or you get headache and confused. Okay. I don't do that to you. So from here, we know that the thickness is what? 0 0.01 meter. Okay. That is the thickness. So from here, Q about the Z axis will be equal to what? Q for the Z axis will be equal to the width, depth, y bar, the width for this case. So is this area that we're going to take, okay, that I'm shading now, just the area. The width is 0 0.125. The depth is what? The depth is 0 0.01. The y bar is what? 100. 100, 150, 110, 150, 0 0.15 minus by 0 0.01 divided by 2. So this will be equal to 0 0.15 minus by 0 0.01 divided by 2 times by 0 0.01 times by 0 0.125 is equal to 181. 0.25 times 10 to power minus 6 meter cube. Okay. Once you sort out your what? First moment of area, everything is what? Easy. So therefore, the Q at point A will be equal to what? The Q at point A will be equal to uh, Vy over IZZ multiplied by QZ, okay? Now, this question is easy because they did not want to find the what? They did not want to find the shear flow. So you don't need, I mean, you only want to find the shear flow. You don't need to consider the thickness, okay? However, you have to divide by two over here because of what? Box beam. So your VY, as you can see, it's 18 times 10 to power 3. Your QZ is 181.25 times 10 to power minus 6. And your IZZ is equal to what? IZZ is 125.166. 125.166 times 10 to power minus 6. And then divide by 2 because it is box beam. Okay. 18 power 3, uh, 18 power 3 times by 181.25 power minus 6 divided by 125.166 power minus 6 divided by 2. I get 13.033 times 10 to power 3 Newton per meter. That is the units for what? That is the unit for. Now. The area to consider is relative to the terminal and it has to be in the same direction with the what? 